One of the few times in the history of the classic, Grand Circuit flags wave on Hamiltonian Day over a home other than Goshen, New York. The new home of the Hamiltonian is the DeCoin State Fairground at DeCoin, Illinois, where more than 30 years ago, the late W.R. Hayes began transforming 30,000 acres of bleak, barren strip mining land into what is now acknowledged as one of the most beautiful fairgrounds in the world. In the middle of this land of lakes and lagoons, he laid out one of the finest and fastest trotting tracks in the world, and then began bidding for the privilege of staging the most famous harness race in the world. Mr. Hayes died before his Hamiltonian dream came true, but his sons, Gene and Don, carried on the campaign, which reaches fruition here today. DeCoin, a southern Illinois community of 7,500, wears its brightest face for the 30,000 harness racing fans who have descended on it for the big day. All roads lead to the fairground. Racing fans begin arriving early in the morning and are shuttled smoothly into the grounds and down three shaded lanes to the grandstand area where the county fair atmosphere, which so typifies harness racing, prevails in abundance. Hamiltonian field at 21 has been broken up into two divisions of 11 and 10 horses. Each division races two heats. Any horse winning one of these four preliminary heats qualifies for the fifth and final heat, which determines the Hamiltonian champion. The purse is an air record, $111,000. Although wagering is not permitted, the experts tab Hickory Smoke and Buckeye Demon as the horses to reckon with in the first division and Hoot Song as a standout in the second. For caretakers, the day begins early and lasts a long, long time. For one of them, it'll be a most enjoyable afternoon. For the others, a disappointing one. In the paddock, all activity points toward the big race, which is not far off. As post time nears, Don Hayes settles in his trackside box while Brother Gene issues last minute instructions. 